in this lesson we will discuss about how to uh, go to uh, another templates cost estimator template and working on this so first we just click on create and go to the cost estimator okay click cost estimator in canvas cost estimator uh, just create Welcome to Power App Studio. So uh, there are lots of uh, screens available here. This is cost estimator. Okay. So make click uh, we click on make my own app and choose our OneDrive business and done. Okay, now we will just fix these error. Some error appear on our applications because we just this uh, template in use or on my own app. So we just go through this application. First, we will go to the I will show you the data source of this application click view and data source and we just go to first these are our jobs filters rooms flooring flooring summary these are all excel table and I will show you on our one drive so just click a new tabs and select our one drive business Okay, go to the power apps and click templates and post estimator 40 minutes ago. This is about 5 minutes ago. Okay, post estimator. So we just select data and I will show you the data will comes from on the power apps the integrate with this data excel data to power apps okay now there are uh, six uh, tables on our excel so job id job name contact contact name these are the columns and this is a one table filter by all open close rooms flooring these are all the data of flooring flooring summary and flooring photo so we just go to the power apps and now 
first we will fix all these these error we just go to the click edit scan it and what happened here yeah. appointment time appointment time is a column name okay so in this gallery this error is showing a name is not valid appointment time is not recognized because this item this item dot fix it so only this item dot appointment time okay and we just fix it on this is also our column name job id and these are all column name job record and job id job record is a variable job id is if not this item job job id nom dot job id navigate job detail page screen transaction and navigate view estimator page screen transaction okay this is the one condition apply on this and this this is condition 1 if is not and this condition is true when this condition is true to navigate this and is false to navigate this okay so now here we will fix it all error first and then we we'll go through the ui how to work it job id and 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 job id okay filter this is filter is a table name also and it's also a column name a filter by and a filter by this one this is a column when this item dot selected this item dot filter control v this that's uh, because it's a gallery gallery is completed on the filter data source and all this item is filter by because all this data comes from here all open and close okay another one we will go to a different applications uh, there are four error all error this one flooring name flooring name this item dot flooring name and this is also talk to value this item dot flooring page text value price dollar dot zero zero and square feet and now we we'll go to the different error click one error left on this flooring page flooring price control v flooring price is available here now all error is fix it so first we will go to open jobs page and i will show a working or not so all jobs this is all jobs olivia gill this is all job and we just click on open these are open close no close job 
go to all job and this job is close and then begin estimate flooring add review room name Olivia Gill Are you sure you want to delete? Yeah. Up and go to the all job and close job. No close job. First we will add uh, another job. This is a